Thank you, Sarah. I'm here with San Jose State University Professor Donna Crane. There is a lot to talk about, but let's go ahead and talk. We've talked presidential politics in some of the earlier kind of times that I've, I've been speaking with you tonight. Let's go ahead and pivot to some of the Cal to the California Senate race. It looks like it's going to actually be Democrat versus Republican. It theoretically could have been Democrat v. Democrat in November, but we've got Adam Schiff and Steve Garvey. Just give me kind of some thoughts initially on that matchup. You know, I guess one thing is worth saying at this point in time, which is that there were four really outstanding top candidates there, and it just shows how deep California's bench is of, of political skill. Um, it's nice to see that it's going to be sort of an old-school matchup, a Democrat and a Republican. In my classes today, we were actually talking about California's system, how it's a little unique, and how sometimes you can end up in ra with races where one party or the other feels completely shut out. Their voters don't have anybody to vote for that they like. So uh, I guess at the moment I'm feeling happy that it's going to be, you know, a good competitive race. California has a two to one Democratic voter right. registration advantage. But you, you kind of anticipated my next question. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of time between today and a November election. But what I would sort of think is you kind of take this sort of balkanized result, right? Like Adam Schiff gets a big chunk. Katie Porter comes in, you know, a, a little bit behind that. Barbara Lee, you would imagine that those voters are probably going to coalesce behind Schiff. Is that that's exactly right. And, and you know, it, what happened in the primary here is that even though there are twice as many Democrats as Republicans, the Democrats had different preferences, right? So they so they split their numbers among the three, which is why Garvey was able to sneak in as the number two. That said, Adam Schiff really wanted a battle against Garvey because I don't recommend he do this, but, you know, he could sort of do nothing for the rest between now and November and probably still walk away as California's newest senator. We heard Garvey speak at length this evening, right? So we heard him kind of trade on the things that, that he's known for, right? The fact that he is a former baseball star, probably that has greater currency in Southern California than up here in <laughs> Giants country, but still that's what he's known for. Yeah. But then he also kind of broadened his message out and sort of made it about kitchen table politics. Yeah. People are struggling. People are struggling to put food on the table, a roof over their head, buy gas, things of that. Do you think that he's able to make that economic sort of pitch and broaden his base of support? I mean, he's got to make that pitch. If he's even going to, you know, try to have a fighting chance in the general election, he's got to broaden that. Because as a Republican, it's just such a liability. The, the National Party brand is such a liability in California that's just really changed a lot since the mid-1990s. Uh, you know, if he's going to have a prayer, that's the way he's going to have to go. Is he going to be able to do it? We've almost no one can. Uh, I'd love to see a, a good, fun race to watch, something really fun and healthy. Uh, but boy, if I were a betting person, you know, this is this is Adam Schiff's seat to lose. Gotcha. Thank you so much. One of his parting shots was Adam Schiff wanted this race. Be careful what you wish for. But we'll have to see between now and November. Donna Crane, thank you so much. Thank you.